executive functioning. We talked about this with the level two. Executive functioning is our ability to map out our day. Our, our ability to put things in sequential order. Executive functioning is what you do every morning when you wake up and you get dressed and you take a shower and you get your kid up and you get your kid showered and you make breakfast and you get your kid on the bus and then you get on the train or you get in your car and get to work. That's all executive functioning. It's all sequencing. It's all routine. You have implemented a routine in your life in the morning to ensure that you get to your school on time. Because quite frankly, all the things you do in the morning could take an entire day. But you've created them in a manner that they take two minutes each or five minutes each or ten minutes here and three minutes there. You know that you can get all of this accomplished and get to work by what, eight? Eight thirty? Seven? And in many cases, that's a lot of stuff. It's a mountain of stuff that we get done in the morning before we get to work. That's all executive function. That's all mapping out a routine. A lot of our children with autism have tremendous difficulty with that. How many of your children get to the front door of your classroom and just stand there? <laughs> and don't know what to do, let alone where to go. <coughs> and most specifically, what to do once they got to wherever it was that they were going. So a lot of this can also be addressed via scheduling. So if your child has an issue with this and he or she is dependent on visual supports, we can create that sequence, that routine, in a visual manner that's going to put all of that into meaning. It's going to create executive functioning skills in a visual sense. So if I see, if your child sees that first they're to go to circle time, and then they're to go to whatever station, and then to the lunch, and then to gym, if it's visible to them, it makes a lot more sense.